Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Five Minute Gaming News, the show that has this wacky ass light in the background that I'm sure won't be distracting at all. Today in the news, it looks like in order to solve their current financial woes, Embracer Group is going hard on Hobbiton. Earlier this week, the publisher announced a restructuring plan that includes massive layoffs, studio shutdowns, and the cancellation of projects. And now it appears CEO Lars Wingafors is focused on internal IP, something that Chief Operating Officer Matthew Karch spoke on during a recent press conference. I have a high degree of confidence that this entire process is going to easily translate into better product selection that's more profitable, and that gives us a greater opportunity for growth in the future. And that helps to leverage the IP that we own within our organization. I mean, we own Lord of the Rings and we know we need to be exploiting Lord of the Rings in a very significant fashion and turning that into one of the biggest gaming franchises in the world. And that's obviously something we're going to be doing. Nothing quite like hearing the words exploitation and significant fashion to get the whole dug too deep and too greedily vibe from this. And they're not really off to a great start considering the most recent Lord of the Rings game, Golem, is not really that great and hasn't been received all that well and honestly is a big miss. The only other title that we know of that's in development at the moment is for Amazon Games and that's a Lord of the Rings MMORPG. So, you know, we'll see what they come up with, but uh, yeah, this news has got me feeling like this. <laughs> Speaking of IPs, there is one at this past week's Xbox showcase that has fans feeling like they're seeing double? And that was because of the trailer for Clockwork Revolution, in Exile's latest in-development title for Xbox, which, according to many on the internet, looked eerily similar to 2013's Bioshock Infinite. Maybe too similar? In a lengthy, since-deleted Twitter thread, user ButtMac, who claimed to be a trailer producer, expressed their grievances regarding how similar Clockwork Revolution's trailer was to Bioshock Infinite's own. I've never seen a game take from another game as directly as Clockwork Revolution took from Bioshock Infinite, said ButtMac. I mean, that was IP infringement levels of borrow. In a separate thread, they collated screenshots from both games for a side-by-side. -side. And yeah, okay, sure, uh, the similarities are there. Both involve time travel and time manipulation. Both are set in this sort of past yet futuristic world. Both feature otherworldly abilities, an overarching evil villain trying to control the whole situation, and voices that sound eerily similar to Jennifer Hale, who was in Bioshock. So, a lot of similarities. However, all of those similarities are supposedly unintended. In a recent report from IGN, a Microsoft spokesperson said, any similarities are unintentional, and stressed the gameplay differences between the two titles by highlighting the fact that, unlike in Bioshock Infinite, players will be able to fully customize their own main character in Clockwork Revolution. Important to know that Clockwork Revolution is a true RPG with all the stats, crunchy details, and deep reactivity that we're known for, Fargo wrote on a Twitter post. So yeah, there is a difference there between the action narrative driven adventure of Bioshock and this sort of RPG of clockwork. And honestly, I'm fine with it. If anything, I see this more of as kind of a tribute or they were inspired by, they're taking us back to a place I kind of wanted to go visit again. You know what I mean? I love Bioshocky worlds. I love that feel, that vibe and doing it in an RPG way is, is fine. I would say it's more inspired by than a direct copy, but I can understand how people would be like, Oh, I'm gonna stir up the internet with this one, which is kind of what this feels like, but maybe I'm wrong. In the comments, is it like too close? You know what I mean? Is it just a little bit beyond the whole sincerest form of flattery kind of vibe and maybe into the, they're just directly copying. I, I don't know. I'm very curious. We don't really know much about this game except for the trailer and sort of the core concept. So hopefully we'll see more soon and uh, we'll have a better understanding. And then in, what is cloud gaming news? Turns out PlayStation 5 and Sony are looking to get into the cloud. If you're a PlayStation Plus premium PS5 owner, you'll soon have access to streaming 
Oh my God, say that three times fast. According to the PlayStation blog, when this feature launches, cloud game streaming for supported PS5 titles will be available for use directly on your PS5 console. That means as a premium member, it'll be easier to jump into your favorite games without downloading them first onto your PS5 console. Of course, this is far from Sony's only foray into cloud gaming. Just last month, Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO Jim Ryan said PlayStation was gearing up to reveal aggressive plans in the cloud gaming space. There's also the upcoming PlayStation cloud streaming handheld, AKA Project Q, and much more to come. Will Sony finally be able to compete with Xbox? We'll find out. Will cloud gaming be the next big thing? How the hell did we get here? We'll find out. I can't believe that after all these years, finally cloud gaming's picking up. I, it's a wild time to be in the gaming space. Anyway, Stay up to date on all that news and all the upcoming news. See what I'm doing here? By tuning in tomorrow and every other day, why not, for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News. Are you the child of a celebrity looking to rep a YouTuber? Hi, I'm King of the Web, Jesse Cox, and I have a solution for you. Coming this weekend is a 20% off sale at store.jessecox.com. It won't take a bite out of your wallet. We've got pins. We've got beanies, we've got hoodies, we've got jackets, we've got t-shirts, all for the magical deal of 20% off. We'll rep you real good.